So now that the dungeon loot pool has been added to light.gg, we're going to be taking a look at not only those, but also the seasonal weapons that are available within episode two. Now there's two things to actually note here. First, that none of these weapons are actually craftable. So you should be taking a look at all the ones that actually drop to see if they have a good role. And second, I don't know which one of these weapons is actually tied behind act two and act three of episode Revenant. Uh, so some of these might not actually be available within the game right now. I believe the SMG is a part of Act 2 or Act 3. Uh, same thing goes for the shotgun uh, that we're going to be talking about here for the seasonal stuff. So just expect some of these weapons to not actually be in the game quite yet. But we're still going to cover them because they're available to be looked at in the database. Now with all that being said, if you're going to enjoy this video or find it helpful at all, if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel, I would very much appreciate it. And there'll be timestamps down below to each of the weapons in case you want to just skip ahead to a particular one. Now with all that said, let's talk about the first weapon here, which is the seasonal weapon called Liturgy, a double fire frame special ammo grenade launcher. And looking at the perks here, the main combos that you're going to be looking for is definitely the new perk Rhyme Stealer paired with Chill Clip. Uh, Rhyme Stealer states that destroying a stasis crystal or defeating a frozen target with this weapon grants you frost armor. Pairing that with Chill Clip, obviously very good combo. I think that with a double fire frame, you're able to just freeze enemies in one shot. That might be a lie, I don't know, uh, but that would make sense for me because it shoots two bullets at a time. So yeah, that could be a really good perk. You also have Envious Assassin on this thing though, where dealing damage with both other weapons before readying this weapon refills it from reserves that could be quite good for damage rotations and then if you just want a pure ad clear you've also got uh, one for all and also chain reaction on this thing as well and then all these seasonal weapons do come with the origin trait dark ether reaper where final blows with this weapon periodically spawn ether charges charges can be detonated early with weapons fire or by coming into contact with them doing so refills the weapon from reserves which probably won't be all that great for this grenade launcher, but might be good for the other weapons. Speaking of, let's move on to Exuvia here. This is an aggressive frame hand cannon uh, of the stasis variety, and it can get also Rhyme Stealer Headstone. Pretty good combo there for PvE. Uh, you can also get stats for one for all, stats for all, explosive payload pretty good uh, there's also precision instrument on this thing as well not a bad damage perk there and also triple tap in that first column could go nicely with that as well uh, you've also got frenzy as well though that could be a pretty good damage perk just to generally boost your damage but mainly if i'm looking for a god roll here it's definitely going to be a uh, rhyme stealer and headstone moving on we have red tape the lightweight frame stasis scout rifle uh this thing also rhyme stealer headstone pretty solid combo there but it can also get demolitionist and explosive or demolitionist one for all uh, focus fury is also there but i wouldn't really recommend that because it requires you to uh, go in and use half your magazine but then in terms of pvp stuff that might be good paired with one of the brand new perks closing time where it improves range accuracy and handling as the magazine gets lower uh, but then you also have a brand new perk here for lone wolf where it slightly improves aim assist and aim down sight speed and airborne effectiveness and increases these effects when there are no nearby allies. If you're a PvP enjoyer, that might be something that you might want to take advantage of. But for PvE, I'm mainly looking at Rhyme Stealer Headstone or Demolitionist and Explosive Payload. Moving on to Vantage Point. Now, this one's actually quite interesting because from doing the intro quest, you are able to get a roll of this weapon with Vault Shot, although Vault Shot doesn't appear on these list of perks. So you get Stats Rule Vault Shot as the main roll from completing the quest, which is a very good roll and one you should definitely be keeping. But in terms of other stuff, if you want to focus on more of an arc focused build, you have Eddy Current there, which did receive a little buff. Pairing that with a brand new perk, Jolting Feedback or Vault Shot, uh, could be quite good. Jolting Feedback states that dealing repeated damage with the weapon inflicts Jolt, and while amplified, Jolt is applied faster. So that could pair really well with the Arc subclass or any Arc prismatic stuff that you are doing. Uh, but also, Desperado is found on this thing, which could also be great. And then PvP wise, Headseeker also a good perk, and you have a load of good PvP options in that first column uh, with like Keep Away and uh, To the Pain, Lone Wolf closing time any of those could be quite good moving on then we have scavenger's fate which i believe is one of the weapons coming in a later act but it is a void precision frame shotgun uh this thing not gonna lie pve wise 
Uh, the only thing that's kind of interesting is Repulsor Brace and Destabilizing Rounds, but then you've also got uh, Surrounded there as well for just overall damage. So pairing that with Slide Shot Surrounded could be quite good. You also got Dual Loader, where if you get this enhanced, you're just going to be loading so many more bullets at a time, which can be really, really good there. Uh, so yeah, mainly uh, Repulsor Brace and Destabilizing there for Void Focus stuff, but then either Dual Loader or Slide Shot followed by Surrounded would be probably the best idea for this shotgun. Moving on to Insurmountable, the new Void sidearm. This isn't a rocket frame sidearm, this is sadly just a precision frame, uh, and it also can get Repulsor Brace destabilizing rounds, so if you want a Void thing, that could be quite good there. Uh, but then you've also got Demolitionist in that first column, which can be quite good, uh, and also maybe like Rampage or One for All. Uh, but once again, it's not a rocket frame sidearm, so not really all that great inside of PvE, and one that you can kind of just not really worry about all too much, unless you're a sidearm enjoyer, in which case, go and get whatever role you are interested in. Moving on, we have Sovereignty, which can actually get some pretty decent rolls, if you ask me, with its brand new perk, Withering Gaze, where aiming this weapon for a short period of time without firing grants the ability to weaken the next target timer resets after firing or when you stop aiming down sights so this can be found on a couple new weapons and it's actually a really really interesting perk uh, paired out with maybe explosive payload in that first column for that little bit of a damage boost could be quite good but if you want to go all out damage you do have a uh, firing line in that second column uh, precision instrument as well also going to be quite good if you're looking for like an ad clear version of this sniper you do get dragonfly as well in that first column so some pretty good options uh, overall for this sniper rifle moving on to noxious veritor probably saying that wrong but i feel like this is also a weapon coming in one of the later acts uh, this is an arc precision frame smg and can get jolting feedback uh, so quite good there in terms of first column traits not anything really all that great probably going to go with unrelenting here uh, maybe even fresh if you're using like a super based build or whatever uh, i've seen some talk about attrition orbs being okay on certain weapons so maybe if you're able to spread that jolt quite effectively that could be a good option uh, but mainly just jolting feedback followed by really any trait in that first column is probably going to do you at least somewhat good but i feel like we already have quite a few good smgs in the game already so you might not even need this one all that much next up we have bittersweet this is the new adaptive frame arc heavy grenade launcher and this thing has been talked about a lot because of the pairing of envious assassin and bait and switch making this literally one of the best dps grenade launchers in the entire game so definitely going to be looking out for that combo there uh, but there's also some interesting stuff with cascade point that can be done even explosive light uh killing tally on a grenade launcher unless you're using it for ad clear which you're not really doing all that much is interesting to say the least but not really all that great although i could see that being interesting paired with reverberation to increase the size of the detonations alongside killing tally could clear out entire rooms of enemies which could end up being quite good and then for the last new seasonal weapon here we have heretics favor a brand new stasis rocket launcher uh, this thing not all that great really in terms of perks you obviously have uh, auto loading chill clip which could be quite interesting if you need those uh, shatters going on in your damage phase uh, explosive light can also be pretty interesting and then you do have rhyme stealer chill clip there as well uh, but all in all there are a lot better rocket launchers out there so in my opinion this is probably a skip overall unless you really want to get a shattering uh capable rocket launcher now we're going to move on to the four reprised weapons coming back from season of the splicer the first being chroma rush a kinetic damage rapid fire frame auto rifle and to be honest not all that great perks in the first column other than subsistence for pve pairing that with kinetic tremors or frenzy or even rampage it's probably going to be the best option for you there but then its origin trait with all these weapons is called splicer surge where reloading this weapon after dealing damage grants the weapon a stacking reload speed and handling bonus until stowed moving on to the next one which is grid skipper this one first column you've got repulsor brace and demolitionist so you probably rock that with either desperate measures stabilizing rounds or frenzy and then pvp wise you do have a whole load of other options here which are actually quite good the next up we have ignition code a lightweight frame kinetic grenade launcher uh, this one first column traits probably going to be going for a lead from gold or ambitious assassin maybe even slide shot uh, followed by probably vorpal or frenzy uh, maybe even reverberation if you're looking for an ad clear grenade launcher 
And then finally here we have Sojourn's Tail, a pinpoint slug frame solar shotgun. This one actually gets some pretty interesting perks. You have heal clip and incandescent there, good combo. Uh, you have auto loading holster and precision instrument as well. Could be a pretty decent DPS choice. Uh, and then you also have some other PvP related stuff there with opening shot, uh, discord probably, moving target, quick draw, all that normal pvp related items and now with those seasonal weapons out the way we can now move on to the new dungeon weapons the first one being the vs pyro electric Helent, which is a adaptive frame arc auto rifle uh main thing you're going to be seeing here obviously onslaught is going to be probably the best option here although you do have jolting feedback here as well so if you're looking for arc based stuff that could be quite good but overall onslaught is just such a good perk uh pair that with Maybe the buffed eddy current to further increase that reload speed a little bit could be quite good. Uh, but apart from that, that first column really doesn't have anything going for it. Uh, so the second column juiced with jolting feedback and onslaught is the way to go. But then you've also got the brand new origin trait for all these weapons, Ray Legacy, where damage with this weapon generates a small amount of ability energy for the one closest to full charge. Kind of similar to the Deepstone Crypt origin trait, but a little bit different there, uh, just to shake it up a bit. Moving on to the next dungeon weapon here, this is VS Gravatic Arrest. Uh, this is an adaptive frame void fusion rifle, and immediately the god roll here is Repulsor Brace and Withering Gaze. Uh, this is just an absolutely insane combo or mainly taking down chunkier targets but then you also have a uh, chain reaction there as well which could end up being quite good uh, if you're looking for more of an ad clear version of this weapon pairing that with demolitionist could be an interesting combo to say the least then coming up next we have the brand new void area denial frame grenade launcher vs velocity baton uh, this one i've seen a lot of hype around attrition orbs with the area denial frame you're just able to generate so many orbs so that's probably going to be the best uh roll there for this weapon although it does come with bait and switch so maybe if you want a damage uh aerial denial frame weapon that could be quite interesting pair that with maybe uh demolitionist to auto reload after throwing a grenade and get that grenade energy back quickly uh, or maybe unrelenting or even repulsor brace in that first column could be quite good but then this weapon also does come with the stabilizing rounds so you've got that void set up there uh, as well and then for the final weapon here inside of the dungeon it is another heavy ammo grenade launcher this time a rapid fire frame stasis grenade launcher called vs chill inhibitor uh, this one also can get envious assassin in that first column followed by bait and switch so another great damage option there but then you can also get cascade point in that first column uh, which is also a very interesting option to pair with bait and switch or maybe even chill clip or explosive light could end up being some quite good damage options there uh, you do also have though demolitions in that first column which remember does reload your weapons after throwing a grenade so that could also be a good option and that's basically all the weapons inside of episode 2 for perks that i'd recommend you go for uh, obviously the reprised garden of salvation weapons are available but since those are craftable uh, and it requires you going into garden of salvation if you're heading in there you probably should already know what roles you are looking out for uh, but if you want to take a look at them yourself i'll have a link down to light.gg in the description so you can take a look further at all the additional perks on those weapons and also the weapons that i've covered here today but with all that said that is it for today so hopefully you guys have enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next one